can't forget them. <laughs> 97.3. Oh, yes. Uh, don't forget Business Off Hours brought to you in collaboration with um, Naira Metrics. I am Yvonne Atama. I am Bukola, and we have a guest with us in the studio. But before that, our uh, Wadi from Naira Metrics is with us. And um, how are you? Going? Good morning, Bukola. Good morning, Fine. Good to have Great you. Great to see you all. We've seen you together for like three weeks. Yes, yeah, so, true. That's so. true. And our special guest this morning is Samson Ulubayo, his founder of Sowo Pay. Sowo Pay. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Uh, Samson Ulubayo. Yes, sir. Yeah, with you live. Uh, Samson, you have to just clear that one first so that any doubters out there don't think you are, this is Lagos money we're talking about. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, um, well, Songo means pay in Yoruba. Mm. And it's the normal slangs between um, the drivers and conductors in Lagos. They say Songo, Songo. So um, that's where they need. So there's no relationship here with the Lagos State <laughs> governor. No, not at all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's be clear about what. Uh, when, when did when did you start Somope and why? Okay. Um, well, Somope started last year, November last year, to be precise. And um, why we started Somope was because of the need I saw. Um, my experience, let me say my experience in Lagos streets, you understand, uh, with conductors, you understand, I got into an unnecessary fight with a conductor in Lagos over change, not because I don't have money to pay, but because of change. And I was like, why do I have to have, why do I have to get issues with these people when it's not as if maybe I don't have money to pay? but uh, because of change. So I discovered that this set of people only understand one means of payment, which is cash. Mm. And they are heavy on cash. There's any other thing that telling them apart from paying them cash is like, um, you are not talking to them. You are not ready to do business with them. It's like you are wasting their time. So they become aggressive and it leads to fight. So um, I find myself in such situation and I saw so many people too while going to work also in similar situation, patronizing public transport. And I feel that I should do something about it. That was what um, actually gave back to Songo Pay. Yes. So this is about public transport? Yes, public transport. And also um, for shop owners too, um, because I discovered something that the markets, when it comes to dealing with um, the downfall drivers, the commercial bus drivers, their parks, they usually have uh, markets surrounded by, by uh, they always have their garage surrounded by market people selling stuff there. So uh, these same people, if you go there to buy things at times, they might just tell you that they don't have change. So instead of leaving money on the table, um, I decided to um, add them to the, um, to the mix. So we'll be able to serve both shop owners and uh, the drivers and conductors uh, alongside. Okay, uh, before some OP, what was Samson doing? Okay, um, I was a Google digital skill trainer, a digital, um, um, dig digital strategist with Slide We Connect. Um, I've trained over 15,000 people on the Google Digital Skill for Africa program. Um, this include um, shop, um, sorry, small business owners and job seekers. Yeah, that was what I was doing before I found Songo Pay. Interesting. So yeah. I hear Songo Pay is about cash and change, conductors, market women. What particular solution are you trying to provide and who is your target market? Okay, um, like I said, my target market are the bus drivers, the conductors, and um, the shop owners in the open market. And what we are trying to help them do is to help them make and receive payments without leaving their business places. Like um, a shop owner does not have to leave um, the market to the bank before she can do simple transaction right here in a shop. Somebody can pay her and she can get value for, um, for whatever product that she's selling instantly with some will pay. So that's what we are doing. We are trying to help passengers pay drivers without having to fight over change. Mm -hmm. 
So how does it work? Do you need to have an app? Uh, do you need to subscribe? You know, does the person you're paying to have to have some will pay also? How does it work? Let us know. Okay. Um, presently, what we are doing right now, the phase we are in right now is onboarding these shop owners and the bus drivers because um, there will be no point to you carrying an app when you cannot use the app to pay these people. So currently, we are onboarding the bus drivers and the shop owners on Sonwopi, creating an account for them where people can easily pay them for their um, goods and services. So basically, that's what we are doing right now. And we are launching the app very soon for the public. But presently, what we have now, it's been used within um, our staff and friends and family for testing. So very soon, we'll launch the app open when we have um, a lot of users that people can actually pay to in the market. So basically, we are doing more of onboarding now in the markets like um, Ikoto market, Yanopaja market, um, Isolo. So we are onboarding the bus drivers and shop owners on Songupi to make it easy for um, um, individuals to just walk into this market or take these um, buses and pay them without stress. So how simplified would this process be? Because this is tech and there's a tendency for the market to yes. feel at, uh, you know, at some sort of uh, seed, say, looking at it and like, what am I supposed to do? Because you're supposed to go through certain processes. Some of the bus conductors might have an idea, but we can't pick down on all of them, but it's the market woman here. I'm looking at, and still some of the bus conductors. So what are you doing to make sure they're on board and they, they go with this vision that you have? Okay, um, what, we, um, what we discovered in the market is that um, whether you like it or not, there are some of these people that even if you teach them from today to tomorrow, they will still tell you that they will not use it. So what we are trying to do to help this set of people, we are setting up our community centers in um, major markets and garages in Lagos. Now what our community center does is that when people make payments, this um, when people pay these shop owners, they can easily get access to their money by going to our community centers and they can go to our community centers to help them do whatever transaction they want to um, do in the market, be it they want to send money or whatever it is they want to do. So our community agents in the, in the market help the market people do that. We also have a community manager right there in the, money in the market, building the community, like getting to build relationship with them and to help them in using our service. So um, why we are doing this approach is to make sure that we create a, a, landing, a, a landing point for both um, the tech savvy customers and those who are not um, um, who cannot use the app to be able to meet and still do transaction without stress. So we have our community centers in the back helping them um, go through go through that, yes. You know, all those things that you said cost money, community center, building an app and so on. How have you been able to raise funding for this business? Um, well, presently I would say, um, We've been able to raise funds to run our operations from friends and family. Um, I would say we are in the friends and family round for now, and we are looking forward to you know get angel investors to um, join us on this journey. But um, we have taken some step we are in the Access Bank Acceleration Program, the African FinTech Foundry. We are also a part of um, FSI, Financial Service Innovators um, Acceleration Program too. So um, these people are, are, are helping us put structure to our business and then uh, at the end of the program, um, help us get investors to invest in some OP and then we can uh, scale the business from, from there. So, so you, you're talking about an investor now. I mean, nobody wants to put their money where, you know, they won't get returns for on their investment. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, if I want to put money into Sawopi, how do you make money? Okay, um, basically we make money from transaction charges um, because people will be using our app to send money and receive money. So we make money from transaction charges and also we make money from um, 
account maintenance charges uh, because we have uh, uh, we have a product called the adjust savings for the market people so and um, currently we have about um, 730 active customers using our adjust savings to save on a monthly basis so we charge them for um, um, savings maintenance charge so we also give soft loans for repairs now these drivers at times they leave the house without any money with them just money to buy for and start work and along the line their boss may just um, develop a fault so they can easily come to us for soft loan for repairs which we usually give from five thousand to twenty thousand naira. So within the first three days is free. After that first three days, they have to pay interest. So we give such loan, um, we give such loan, and we make money from um, the interest rate on such um, micro loans that we give the market people and the bus drivers too. Don't they frown? You know, we talk about ajo. Ajo is yes. something like they can easily ten of them can easily come together. Yes. You know, contribute their money and there yes. is no interest on it so with your little interest don't you think that will dissuade them and what have you done to actually encourage them okay um apart from the group savings there's also the personal savings attached to to it where they save money on a daily basis you understand and currently we charge them um 150 naira which is um, the cheapest in the market. The individual people that goes to the market to collect a job from them, usually charge them what they call Uwa Koko, which is the first money. That is if they are saving 1,000 Naira every day, the person that does their job takes the first 1,000 Naira. You understand? But we are charging them a flat rate of 150 Naira per month on their savings. It's also, it's a better deal for, um, for us. So they are not frowning at, our charges at all. In short, I don't think I've seen anybody complain about the charges. So far, so good, yes. Um, with this, I know there's tech involved, but with what you've said, having to have structures, um, communities and, and offices, how many people are currently involved in some OP that you also have to solve with them? So we'll pay to them to <laughs> Okay. Um, presently, we have a team of 11 people. Uh, we have four developers on the team um, who are part-time. And then we have the community managers and the field cashiers that work in the community centers. So um, what's this... Um, we pay them salaries for now, the community centers. But what we intend to do is um, to get to use the agency network to be able to scale where people, we give them our app, we give them our product to be able to attend to their communities. So um, we are not going to grow the number like trying to get um, people all over the markets that are on salary and things like that. No, we are going to use the um, agency model to, to scale. So presently, we just have 11 people on our payroll um, that are running the business, both on the tech side and the market, um, the market stop. Yes. So since you're operating at um, you know this level with the conductors and the market women, where are you going to put the almighty agbirus? You know because they want their own money, cash. No, 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 no. And so if, if they're doing Sonwo Pay, at the end of the day, you say, oh, okay, uh, let me transfer it to your Sonwo Pay account. So how, how, do you, how will you deal with that kind of challenge? Okay. Um, sorry, I, maybe I didn't get that question very well. Maybe so I'm, I'm saying now that you have the almighty Agberos who, yes. who are core stakeholders in this environment that, that you're operating in. How are you going to deal with the challenge of the agbirus wanting their own cash, like now, 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 from the conductors and most, most market women? Okay, um, basically, what we know is that um, even the agbirus, when they collect cash, there's an account they pay the money to. Mm. You understand? So after collecting cash, too, they usually come to us to help them send it to some particular um, account number along the line. So um, everybody's not 
definitely going to be paying with some pay. There are some people that will still pay with cash. Yes. So I feel there's still um, room to balance that. And we are still looking at how we can still work with these people, but it's on the pipeline. Yes. I don't want to spill that now. <laughs> So do you foresee challenges? Um, definitely. Uh, so what kind of challenges do you foresee? Because since uh, you're starting out in your own way. Um, well, some of the challenges we've actually been uh, seeing them and we've been getting along and uh, dealing with them as they come. Um, some of the challenge will have to do with the set of people um, we are taking our time to educate the markets too. That's what we are doing with our community managers too. And trust me, it's easy dealing with this set of people because most um, majority part of them are not um, literate and not educated. So um, we need to go down to their level and be able to um, sell some OP to them and tell them what we do. So um, it's a big tax and I know we are we are there already and we are digging it, we are doing it. So it's it's not a big deal. So apart from that, um, the markets, the market is a big market and you have a lot of competitors in the market and um, you need to offer something different to be able to stand out and win the market share. And so, um, we need to be at, um, ahead of our game. It's a challenge that we need to innovate on, you know, regularly to be able to surmount. So um, I feel those are part of the challenges and also um, the regulatory framework in the field that we're operating, it's, it's huge. So basically those are the challenges for now. And we are dealing with uh, it. We are dealing with it as we move. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so the good thing is uh, with Songope, we are trying to bring in financial inclusion, especially for um, bus drivers, um, bus drivers, the transportation sector in Lagos, which yes. is a huge part. How do you see yourself? Are you really breaking yes. this into other parts of? of of businesses because aside from the bus driver, there are other places where you go where you pay cash and there's never change. They're asking you to take either one one sports one suite or one to go. You know? <laughs> so how are you looking at your 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 market um, um, inclusion and and um, scale up in, in in the near future? Okay um presently um, we want to start with this um, people the marketplace and the bus drivers, and um, we'll push it down to the streets. That's what I said. I said um, we'll have um, mobile bankers, people who can offer these services from their streets, take up um, our song pay and offer it um, to people. Now, when we penetrate the market the way we want in the next five years, I'm very sure um, everybody understands what song pay do. So it's easier for them now to receive payments without stress. So instead of saying, I don't have change, and so they'll just say pay into my Sunwoo Pay account because they know along the road, somebody there has a Sunwoo Pay um, agent center that they can just easily go there and withdraw their money when, uh, whenever they need it. So um, that's, I, I, I feel along the line, it's going to, we are, we are going to spread out of the market and the, garages but for now that's our focus for the next five years that's where we are focusing on the the, the marketplace and um, the bus parks yeah all right they're talking about specific marketplaces and, and bus um, parks now where, where do you intend to roll out from um Ijegun, Ajegunle, Oshodi, or where, Mush, where exactly are you are you rolling out from okay um we are currently at um Ikotu market Okay. We have some open in the Kotsu market. We also have some open at um, Iyanopaja markets too. Mm. And also is solo brand. So we are looking forward to, before the um, year runs out, we are looking forward to start um, Oshodi and 
Hello, my two axes. That's the market of all markets, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes. Um, yes, we also have that on the pipeline too. Um, we are working towards that already and uh, we already have a partnership. I 12. My 12, yes. Those are, uh, my 12, they are one of the market that will come up uh, before the end of the year. Yes. So, uh, my 12, most importantly, the my 12 market, because um, if you have to go and shop in my 12 market now, you have to first of all go to the bank to withdraw cash before you can buy anything there. So, we want people to be able to walk into my 12 market and be able to buy whatever they want with some, with some who pay without needing to first of all go to any ATM or POS to withdraw cash. So, so this is the cashless society you're promoting here at the end of the day. You yes. know what one smelly hundred naira note or one somebody has brand from yes. <laughs> you know, when if I am I just ask you in terms of which markets you intend to go to. I know this thing is not free mm. to go to these markets. Mm. Yes. How do you intend to raise funds? In ensuring that this expansion drive is going to be, you know, some will pay is going to be some will pay all over. Yes. Um, like I said earlier on, um, we are actually talking to investors. We have some investors on the pipeline now that we're currently discussing um, with. And um, as soon as they key into the vision, then uh, we move from there. But um, on our own part, the business in this location is growing. So on our own part, we are taking um, our baby steps, depending when you know we have investors that can really help us scale faster. So whatever the case may be, we still keep moving and taking our own step along the way. So from one location center in November, this is um, September, within um, nine, um, sorry, within 10 months now, we're, we're already in three, uh, locations and those locations are actually doing uh, good now. So the possibility of scaling to other locations too on our own is still there, but we still look out to get investors to help us scale faster. Yeah. So when you first started, what was it like though? We didn't ask you. What was it when you got there? Someone pay ah, you use your phone to pay money, you do this. What was the reaction like? How did they Okay, um, well, we went in with a strategy first, um, and that strategy is um, to kind of give them confidence that um, we actually use the adjust savings as a strategy to get them to onboard them on some pay. Because we discovered that these people save, but the only thing is that they don't save, most of them don't save in the bank because they need to quickly turn over cash and they don't want anything that will tie them down. They need to go to the bank, sit under the canopy because of um, COVID-19 before they are called into the bank. So when they think about all this, no driver wants to park his bus and go and sit down because they work with time. So we went in with the strategy of the adjust savings and we're able to use that to get them, build their confidence, um, to show them that it's safer to save in this place without fear that um, one, a job person will run away with their money, or if anything happens to that job person, their money is nowhere to be found. So that strategy is actually working for us because they, they have confidence in um, Sonopi, seeing that we have a location right there in their park that they can walk in at any time and get the money that they save. It's one of the things that we're making them, um, building their confidence in using Sonopi. So basically that, has, that strategy has worked for us. And from that is what we are building on, building other things on, like the uh, micro credits that we give them to quickly um, boost their shop and, and um, get back to pay us whatever amounts they get from, from us. So those are what has been able to help us penetrate the, the market while telling them that now customers can easily pay them since they have their account and they know where they can receive, um, withdraw their money from whenever a customer chooses to pay them with some pay. So they don't have much problem um, in accepting that because they're already using it to save money. So if somebody is now saying I'm paying money to that place now, it's no more a problem for them. 
Yeah. Okay. So, so you, you mentioned something about time uh, while you were talking. And uh, I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm in a bus and I want to get down. Uh, the conductor asked me for money. I said, oh, take 1,000. I said, I could change you, I could change you. And I said, okay, let me quickly transfer to you. Uh, how long do we have to wait for the alert before they will let me leave? Okay, um, basically, they, they will need to get an alert and um, they will need to wait too because there's no two ways about it. Uh, because if they still have to look for change, the conductor will be the one going around to look for change. So if it's not going around to look for change, um, most of the times the, the alert is instant, but you cannot guarantee it at all oh, because the network problem. Yes. Network problem, anything can happen that would delay. But if they can confirm it, they know that's okay. Let me see from your own end. You send it, and uh, everybody's fine. But uh, I that is actually a, a problem we're dealing with. But yeah. we, we are looking for better ways to, you know, yes. So if someone pay backed by central bank. I'm not um, backed by central bank right now, uh, but we have been in several programs uh, where we have central bank talk about financial inclusion and the things we need to do and need not to do. So basically they are not, but we are not backed by uh, central bank yet, but we intend to get, um, we are a startup and we intend to get every, um, every, um, document, every regulatory document that we need to um, operate in the larger markets um, as, a, as, as a general business. Yes. So speaking about, about what Bukola just asked you know, about the central bank backing, what are your thoughts? So much preparation of, of um, fintechs in, in, in trying to include um, people in the financial inclusion drive. What are your thoughts in terms of this market or this new area from a regulatory perspective? Do you think it is important that they have um, proper regulations from financial um, regulators? Um, yes, I, I think it's proper because um, everybody needs to be uh, monitored in a certain way because um, if it's not, if people are not monitored, um, some people with other motives can get into the system and do a lot of damage to the people. So um, in, the, in that part, the CBA needs to regulate and make sure that um, people come into the system are doing the right thing and following the right procedures too. So um, I don't see anything wrong with that if you are um, operating a genuine business. So we have a question from a listener, Olakule says, is Sawope insured? Okay, um, insured in which um, aspects per se? Yeah, no, I, would like to, I would like to know, is it for um, their savings or yeah. uh, yes. their, 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 their deposit? Yeah, yes. their deposit. Okay. Um, Presently, we are we are actually working on that. Like I said, we are just doing. We are trying to get the market validation. You understand, and um, we are trying to get every other things that we need to, you know, operate properly. So what we are trying to do is just to uh, we are getting the market validation, and we are that is on the pipeline already. Been discussed on how to go about it. Uh, very soon, the announcement will be out concerning. Uh, concerning that, yes. Okay, you know, time is never our friend. And as I can see, we are going beyond our mm. time. Yes. So if I am, Bola, the ball is back in your court, the usual thing before we end the show. Yes, sir. All right, that mantra, what do, what keeps you going? That line, you know, when you wake up in the morning, some people say, shine your eyes. Your quotes, <laughs> you say, yeah. Right, what's your own? What's your quotes? Okay, um, basically I'll say, I, I, I motivate myself by saying, uh, I know Nigeria is hard. <laughs> so I know when the going gets tough, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. And my, my special word now is we move. So whatever it is that I know that there's always a move. <laughs> <laughs> 
Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. All right. Thank you so Thank much, you, Samson. Samson. Thank you very much. Uh, all right. Do have a great day ahead. Remember, Thank you. Uh, and you too. Yes, uh, Business Half Hour is brought to you by Transic FM in collaboration with Naira Metrics and comes your way every Monday at 8 a.m. here on TCMS and runs all the way to 8.30. We'll take a short break.